Hi students, in this video we shall continue exercise 3.2. So in the last video I have discussed third problem. So you try fourth problem. So I will discuss fifth one. So the question is in the figure 3.32 in this figure, if AB parallel to CD, angle APQ is equal to 50 degree and angle PRD is equal to 127 degree, find X and Y. So given that AB parallel to CD, AB parallel to CD. APQ is equal to 50 degree angle APQ this angle is 50 degree in the figure also they have mentioned angle PRD PRD is equal to 127 degree so we have to find X and Y so this is the angle PQR and angle QPR so Y okay solution so given we will write first given things that is so we will write given things then from the figure from the figure from the figure these two angles you can see here angle x and angle 50 degree so these two angles are alternate angles since ab and cd are parallel to each other alternate angles will be equal so therefore we can write that x is equal to 50 degree because alternate angles alternate angles okay alternate angles and also we can write ab parallel to cd okay so since ab parallel to cd x equal to 50 degree they are alternate angles okay so we got x value so next you can see here in the figure angle prd this angle is equal to angle apr so this angle these two angles are also alternate angles okay so that is 50 plus y 50 plus y must be equal to 127 degree also 50 degree plus y is equal to 127 degree so because alternate angles alternate angles so alternate angles are equal because a b parallel to c d okay so therefore y is equal to 127 minus 50 degree that is equal to 127 minus 50 degree 77 degree y is equal to 77 degree okay here we shall discuss angle sum property of a triangle okay so that is the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree so if you consider a triangle triangle then there are three angles correct one two and this is 3 so these symbols represent they are different okay one line two lines three lines okay that means those angles may be different or same so whenever you consider three angles the sum of the three angles means when you add those three angles that is always equal to 180 degree so that is the statement of theorem we will prove that so how it is 180 degree okay so to prove we'll make construction that is uh, let me consider a b c three vertices and parallel to b c i will draw a line I'll draw a line x y okay x and y let first let us write the construction so let angle one angle two and angle three be three angles of a triangle next construction construction draw x y parallel to b c through a through the point a okay that is the construction so let this angle be 4 let this angle be 5 okay so these two angles 4 5 angles now from the figure we can see that so x a y is a straight line so therefore sum of the angles so if there are two angles or three angles on the line same line then sum of all those angles is always equal to 180 degree because linear property linear angles okay so from the figure from the figure angle 4 plus angle 1 plus angle 5 is equal to 
180 degree so let this be equation 1 okay now in the figure you can see that xy is parallel to bc that means there are two parallel lines and transversals okay if i consider this as a transversal ac then angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate angles if xy and bc are parallel these two angles must be equal in the same way if i consider ab as transversal these two angles angle 4 and angle 2 are alternate angles okay so therefore the, these two angles will be equal so that we will write also angle 2 is equal to angle 4 and angle 5 is equal to angle 3 because alternate angles alternate angles okay so xy and bc are parallel therefore alternate angles will be equal so therefore from 1 from 1 what we can say angle 4 plus angle 1 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree i'll write as it is and instead of angle 4 i can write angle 2 because they are equal so therefore angle 2 plus angle 1 as it is plus angle 5 instead of 5 i can write 3 angle 3 that is equal to 180 degree so therefore angle 1 plus angle 2 angle 3 angle 1 plus angle 2 angle 3 which implies angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree so addition is commutative so i can write anywhere so if it is second i can write in the first place okay so therefore this is what we have to prove that is sum of the angles three angles if we add that is always equal to 180 degree so an important theorem okay okay now let me discuss one more property of triangle so if i consider three angles one two and this is three okay so for a triangle there are there will be three vertices and three sides if i produce a side in that direction if i extend the line bc in the same direction so then i will get one more angle here so let that be angle four and from the previous theorem we came to know that angle one plus angle two plus angle three is equal to 180 degree correct sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree also angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree so here from the figure so 3 and 4 are linear pair angles so they are on the same line so therefore sum of those two must be equal to 180 degree okay so if i consider this as equation 1 and 2 therefore from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 what i can write right hand sides are equal so that means left hand sides must be equal angle 1 or angle 3 plus angle 4 must be equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 correct so left hand sides must be equal i can cancel angle 3 so angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 so that is the exterior angle okay angle 4 is equal to sum of the sum means plus sum of the interior opposite angles so that is the property i wanted to discuss okay so when you extend a side the exterior angle made by that uh, side is equal to sum of the interior opposite angles this angle is equal to sum of these two angles if you know these two angles then by adding these two you can find this angle if this is 30 45 then this is 75 30 plus 45 75 right like that if you consider any side if you extend any side then uh, then also this property holds that is if you consider one more triangle and extend in this direction okay any direction you can extend then this angle angle a if i consider this angle is equal to sum of these two angles b and c so angle a is equal to angle b plus c sum of these two angles similarly if i extend here this angle is equal to sum of these two angles if this is a and the b c then a is equal to b plus c okay so this property you should know okay in your book it is given in the form of theorem if a side of a triangle is produced or extended 
in the exterior then the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles right please write this statement and those three diagrams okay we shall discuss exercise 3.3 the first question is in the figure 3.39 in this figure sides qp and qr of a triangle pqr are produced to points s and t respectively if spr is equal to 135 angle pqt is equal to 110 find angle prq so qp and qr so they are extended okay so in that direction and given that angle spr spr is equal to 135 pqt pqt is equal to 110 degree find prq we have to find prq this angle we have to find okay so now uh using this one this angle and linear pair angle property i can find this one because sum of these two angles is always equal to 180 degree okay first let me find this one so from the figure from the figure angle pqt plus angle pqr is equal to 180 degree because linear pair linear pair angles okay now pqt is given pqt is equal to 110 degree plus angle pqr is equal to 180 degree so angle pqr is equal to 180 degree minus 110 degree okay so that is equal to 180 minus 110 i think 70 degree angle pqr is equal to 70 degree okay now using the property of exterior angle okay that is exterior angle is equal to sum of the interior opposite angles since we need this one and we have this one right 70 degree so therefore using sum of these two is equal to this exterior angle so using that property also from the figure from the figure angle spt spr angle spr spr this angle is equal to angle pqr plus angle prq angle pqr plus angle p r q okay so you can write the reason because okay in short you can write some of the interior angles opposite angles is exterior angle okay in short also you can write like this so now Mm, SPR SPR is given so that is 135 135 degree plus PQR we have found here 70 degree not plus equal to plus angle PRQ okay we need angle PRQ we have to find angle PRQ so therefore keep angle PRQ as it is and 135 as it is shift this 70 to left hand side it becomes minus 70 so therefore angle PRQ Is equal to 135 minus 70. I think 65 degree. So this is how we can find angle PRQ. Okay, now we shall discuss third question. Second one you can try. In the figure 3.41, in this figure AB parallel to CD, AB parallel to DE. Sorry, DE. Uh, angle BAC is equal to 35 degree. Angle BAC, this angle is 35 degree. Angle CDE, CDE is 53 degree. Find DCE. Angle DCE. So this angle we have to find. Okay. So now when you see the figure AB is parallel to DE, so that means this angle and this angle are alternate angles. Correct. So angle BAC and angle D. E C are alternate angles. So since these two are parallel, alternate angles are equal, right? So that we can make use of from the figure. Angle B A C is equal to angle C E D. C E D. So that is equal to thirty five. degree because alternate angles alternate angles okay so therefore we got this angle 35 degree 
now making use of sum of the interior angles of triangles so we know two angles so we can find third one whenever we know two angles so using this property so also angle so angle c d e plus angle b c e plus angle c e d is equal to 180 degrees sum of the interior angles c d e first angle i consider this and then d c e second angle this and third angle c e d this angle okay you can consider it in any order no problem so but center letter should be c and then e and d okay so c d e three angles now c d e c d e is given 53 degree plus d c e d c e we have to find plus c e d c e d this angle is given 35 degree is equal to 180 degree so angle d c e plus 53 plus 35 88 degree is equal to 180 degree so therefore angle d c e is equal to 180 degree minus 88 degree angle d c e is equal to 180 degree minus 88 degree 92 degree so this is how you we can find the value of d c e so we have to find d c e the okay, next problem in the figure 3.43 if pq perpendicular to ps pq parallel to sr angle sqr is equal to 28 degree and angle qrt is equal to 65 degree then find the values of x and y so given that pq parallel to sr a parallel that means st also is parallel pq perpendicular to ps pq perpendicular to ps these two are perpendicular okay and sqr sqr 28 degree qrt qrt is equal to 65 degree then find the values of x and y so this angle on this angle we have to find so now when you see the figure pq parallel to sr okay or st so then these two angles 65 degree and these two angles x plus 28 are alternate angles so therefore alternate angles are equal when two lines are parallel okay so from the figure from the figure x plus 28 degree is equal to 65 degree because alternate angles net angles okay x plus 28 degree this angle is equal to 65 degree so x is equal to 65 minus 28 degree x is equal to in 37 37 degree okay x value so next to find the value of y so we can make use of sum of the interior angles of triangle considering pqs triangle this angle is 90 so x value we have found here so using that we can find y okay so also from triangle pqs okay angle qps plus angle y plus angle x is equal to 180 degree sum of the interior angles is equal to 180 degree angle qps qps is 90 degree 90 degree plus y plus x is equal to 37 degree is equal to 180 degree so y plus 37 plus 90 127 degree is equal to 180 degree y is equal to 180 degree plus becomes minus 127 degree so y is equal to 53 degree so this is how we can solve the problem remaining problems you try so this completes your third chapter lines and angles